Okay, welcome everybody to credit seven. This is day one. We're talking about exponential functions now. So go ahead and go through the introductory video, record your best guess, and uh, watch the results video. Um, exponential growth is an interesting topic to me. Um, it always seems to grow faster than I expect. Um, but we're going to go ahead and look at population change in Brazil as our first uh, first little activity. So Brazil, it says, uh, the births every year equal about 1.5% of the total population in the country, and deaths every year equal 0.6% of the total population. So this word of, I always kind of think of it as it's multiplying. So this is 0 0.015 as a decimal times the population. So that's the number of births that are going to happen. So it says 197 million, so you'd multiply 197 million times 0 0.015 to find how many births there were in one year. The number of deaths, same way. Uh, you move that decimal place over two spots, so you have uh, 0 0.006 times the population. And then both causes combined, so you're going to have so many births and so many deaths, so you could actually take the difference of the two uh, to find, or you could even, once you have your answer, subtract the number of um, deaths away from the number of births to find out what's the net positive growth of the population. Okay, so then you're going to make a little chart. Uh, so how much does it the total change each year? Um, so you have the change and then you have the new total population. So the key thing with exponential growth is that it builds upon itself. So when you have a new total population, now that this population is what is growing by three or 1.5 percent was it 1. Point, yeah 1.5 percent and then also decreasing by 0.6 percent. So a net of uh, 0.09, right? 1.5 minus 0.6 would be 0.9. So it's growing by 0.9% each year. So you're going to multiply it by 0 0.009 to find the change. And then that gets added on to the population. So the population grows uh, each, every, each and every year. And then you're going to plot this. Um, in the versus year, so you might start with uh, 2011 over here, and go go along that axis with the years, and then the total population in millions. So I don't. It starts with 197. So you might start around there, and then it goes up from there. Okay. Describe the pattern of change over time in population estimates for Brazil. Explain how the pattern you describe is shown in the table and in the plot. So that's just kind of a qualitative thing. You just kind of uh, say what's happening here and what's happening here. OK. Which of these strategies for estimating the change in Brazil's population from one year to the next uses the growth rate data correctly? So. You have to look at this equation and see if this is correct, right? Does it match up with the data? So, point 1.5% uh, times the population minus 0 0.06 times the population equals the change in population. So, does that make sense? Uh, is this also correct? Um, is this correct? 0.15 and 0 0.06, and then 1.5% times the current population minus 0.06% equals a change of population. So is that true? And I guess you do the same thing for these other ones. So which of the following strategies correctly use the given growth rate data to estimate the total population of Brazil one year from now? So you have the current population and you add on point. 0.09% or 0 0.09 times the current population is that the next year's population. So does that match up with a chart that you had made? 
and does this also work and does that work um, and finally this one okay and then the whale tail so there there was a whaling commission in in 1986 that declared a ban on the whale hunting um, so the populations of the whales were somewhere between 7,700 and 12,600. Now, after they put the, put the ban into effect, um, there was a natural increase of about 3% per year. Uh, but the Alaskan Native people were allowed to hunt uh, 50 bowhead wells each year for food, oil, and other well products for their daily lives. So then you're going to use this information to set up a mathematical model and determine what's the one year change in population. So it's increasing by 3%, but then you subtract away 50 whales because uh, the Alaska natives um, kill 50. And here you'll have to write that mathematical model out. So use a word now to stand for the Alaskan bowhead whale population in any given year and write a rule that shows how to estimate the population for the next year. So you have now and then some equation equals next, right? So are you going to multiply that by something and are you going to subtract away something? So um, use this information, use this uh, as your variable. So you can put parentheses around it to kind of show that that represents a single variable. Okay, little hints there for you. And then we have this calculator example. So you might not be used to this. Um, so what they're doing here is they have 7,700 they're using kind of the low end of the estimate for the number of bowhead whales. So they do 7,700, enter, so that enters it into the calculator. And they do 0 0.03 times answer. So answer just means like it's going to use whatever the last entry was. So that's what that does, plus the last entry, minus 50. So that's what that's doing there. And then they hit enter, 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 enter. So that's just kind of repeating the last thing that was done. So you can uh, look at that procedure and explain what, what are those commands that are, are happening there and does it represent a good prediction of the population change. Okay, now you're going to modify the given calculator steps to find the total whale population prediction starting from 2001's high figure. So instead of using the 7,700, use the 12,600 and a natural increase of 3% per year. And then predict the population uh, in 2015 and answer those two questions. And then write in your notebook uh, the answer to that. Okay.